<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Why Not Now? My name is Steven, this is my beautiful wife, Lisa Marie, and as you guys know, we have finally landed in our home base for now, Oaxaca City. So, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, pass our content on, and if you find it helpful, always hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. So today we're gonna get into why we chose Oaxaca City as our next home base, guys. That's right, guys. So as my husband mentioned, you know, we have been uh, living in Mexico for a little over a year. We do have our temporary residency. Um, we mention this all the time. For those of you who are just popping into our channel now, we have a plethora of information. Make sure you check our playlist out. We have informational play playlists as well as Mexico vlogs. We've done traveling. We've done temporary residency videos, how to do your utilities, neighborhood tours, and a lot more information. We do have two dogs as well. So we have a step-by-step -step guide on how you can bring your dogs from the United States to Mexico and what entities you need to contact in the US as well as when you get here to Mexico guys so we hope you find all our information helpful and enjoyable guys yep. all right guys we're gonna begin with our list in no particular order I'll begin with our number one um, starting point here of why we chose Oaxaca if you see me looking down from time to time guys um, that's because I'm looking at my notes yep. So number one, guys, is the culture. Guys, you if you guys know about Oaxaca, the indigenous culture here, the roots, the history, I mean, everything, the culture runs so deep here. Absolutely. In the belly of Mexico, La Pancita de Mexico, guys, and we are so thrilled to be able to, to learn and educate ourselves while we are here. We hope to be here for a minimum of six months, if not longer here in Oaxaca, and do some exploration, guys. So mm -hmm. we wanna learn about all the history, um, that Oaxaca has to offer. There's so much here to dig into. That is one reason why we chose Oaxaca, guys. Yep. All right, guys, number two. Number two is very important to us. I'm pretty sure it's very important to you guys as well. It's the cost <clears throat> of living down here in Oaxaca, Mexico, guys, Oaxaca City. To us, we, we, we're we firm on finding a, a, a reasonable local price. That's right. We don't want the, the tourist price. We don't want the, the extranjero ex, extra <laughs> price, the gringo <laughs> price, whatever. We want the local price, and we always dive in. We do our best to get the local prices, guys. So that's one of the reasons why, the number two reason why we came out here to Oaxaca, the cost of living. Uh, absolutely, because... You guys, you have to always, we say this all the time in our videos, educate yourself on the local prices, guys. Just because it's cheaper than where you're coming from, make sure you're getting the, the, the local prices because, you know, you don't want to raise the prices for no. not only the locals, but other people who are coming here to live, guys. You want to pay the fair price, guys, the right price, guys, of course, but, you know, you want to make sure that you're not getting inflated prices just because you are um, a foreigner, guys. So make sure you do your research. Make sure you speak with the locals. That's what we do. We talk mm -hmm. with the locals, get the pricing of the areas that we're living in and then we go ahead and move forward accordingly guys yeah and if i can jump in real quick just like um my wife was, wife was saying if you're coming from california new york all these larger cities you may have been paying <laughs> four or five thousand a month but when you come down here you say oh 2500 a month is not bad to you it may not be but to other individuals come from other places it, it very well may be guys right. so that's why we say just talk to the locals over here in mexico and i'm pretty sure they will guide you in the right direction they will treat you fair because they're very right. fair honest people down here over here in mexico guys yes and and absolutely because we even lived i'll throw this in in various states and cities in the u.s guys we've lived where i'm originally from new york my husband's originally from Atlanta, Georgia. He yep. was born in Mississippi, but he pretty much lived most of his life in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, you know, there, were, there was a time period when I was a child. I lived in Italy for a few years because my yep. father was an Italian immigrant. Um, God, God rest his soul. He passed away a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And... We've seen it all, guys. I mean, we lived in Boise, Idaho. We've lived in Lexington, Kentucky. We lived in Indianapolis, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, you know, New Georgia, York. Yeah, so, yeah. and the point the point of that is just to say that, you know, we were comparing, we, we, when we moved to Boise, Idaho, for example, we weren't comparing it to the Atlanta, Georgia prices because it's a different state. So we, you do your own research, even in the U.S., guys, when you're moving, that you're, you're getting that local market price and you're not paying inflated prices. So, okay. right. number three is the climate. climate. Yep. Guys, as soon as we touch down on Oaxaca, it immediately, we got off the plane, 
and I, I told my husband, gosh, it feels warmer here. And I don't know if the humidity is a little bit higher. We lived in Querétaro, Mexico for, like I said, a little over a year. And even though it can get really hot there, it, you know, it's a drier heat because mm -hmm. the elevation is about a little over 6,000 here. We're at a, a little bit over 5,000 elevation, but we are closer to like Veracruz, Chiapas. So maybe we have a little bit more humidity in the air here. It did yeah. feel warm to us and he loves it, guys. Yeah, and, and I mentioned that in a previous video, guys, that um, we, have, we got off the plane, it just felt warm, warm. I'm a fan of warm weather. I had a hoodie on coming from Caretaro and it's like down here, it's like, I could say, I don't know, five to 10 degrees warmer. Yeah, over here. it does feel like it, that It's sure. nice, yeah. So that's one reason as well, the climate, guys. All right, number four. Oh, which is a big one. Yes. Um, the diverse landscape, guys. I don't know if you can see in the back a little bit. We have mountains in the back of us. Of course, you can get you can go down to the to the beach. Um, you can go. They, they tell us it's just so many things. They tell us about the waterfalls over here. It's yes. so many things over here. To, to, explore. to explore and yep. th these are uh, obviously you guys know Oaxaca the Sierra, Sierra Madre mo mountains behind us and we can't wait to go up and explore in the mountains and do some hiking we can't yeah. wait to go ahead and explore some of the indigenous villages and see all of the artisan crafts that are made by hand there's so oh, much yeah. beauty and history here guys we eventually okay guys will travel to the coast which is several hours driving from here um, down the road we do have two Yorkies guys so we have to figure out how to plan that accordingly and one of them has terrible oh motion sickness well that's another story, story guys travel story guys so how we managed to maneuver with our little dogs as well but there's so much to explore here guys and we want to peel back those layers so the landscape the geography of Oaxaca as a state is incredible so that's yeah. another main reason yeah, guys I mean, we're looking forward to checking out Puerto Escondido like yes. down in, in that, that area yes yeah okay right, number five number five to us Safety. Right. We we always put that that uh, that in the mix. Safety. Mm -hmm. And to us, so far from what we've been experiencing out here, it's very safe. It's very tranquil down here. Mm -hmm. Where we where we are right now, uh, we still we just arrived, so we're going to explore around more, guys. And and but we we're big on safety. And to us right now, safety is one of the primary things that that brought us to this to this area right and you know again guys it's all relative right because what is a comfort com a comfort level for us may not be for you so True. when we say this we we everything that we say guys we always try to be truthful and bring our perspective guys but you have to do your own research because what may be good for us may not be for you guys right so we're just giving you our personal perspective our opinion and for us it feels very safe now are there areas that are not absolutely <laughs> um you guys will hear me say this all the time but that's the world no matter where you go guys in the world you're gonna find you know people or situations you know there's gonna be crime that's just life whether yeah. at whatever level it is high level low level you're gonna find things going on um, there are have been locals we only been here now about close to a week we still have a lot to learn and we always say as we learn we'll pass it on to you guys you learn right um, we share whatever information to make your transition to Mexico as smooth as possible guys so we have been told that the south of uh, Oaxaca, south of the Zocalo, is a little bit more run down, a little yeah. more poverty. We're going to go and dig into those neighborhoods, guys. We're going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll give you our perspective at a later date once we get to go ahead and peel back the layers of Oaxaca. But so far for us, we're staying currently in an Airbnb in the neighborhood of Xochimilco. It's a tight community. It's beautiful. Yeah. We feel safe here. We went to reform a neighborhood. Beautiful feels mm. felt safe there as well. So for us, it's fairly safe. Yeah, I, I can't wait to show you guys Reforma and, and uh, Xochimilco. I can't wait to show you guys that. So, so yeah, we're not, our what? Our neighborhood tours. Yeah, our we're known neighborhood for doing tours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. So, so we're not moving too fast. I want to sum it up for you guys where we where we are so far. Number one was the culture. Mm -hmm. Number two, cost of living. Number three, climate. Number four, the diverse landscape, the, the beaches, the mountains, and things like that, guys. Number five, safety. That's what mm -hmm. we just recently got finished discussing with you guys. So, last, last but, not, but least. not least, number six. Why else would people come to Oaxaca, guys? <laughs> the food, Comida. man. Comida! <laughs> yes, and I've, I've had, um, I told you guys that I had the... Um, In our mole, last video. Yeah, check it out, guys. The black, the, the black no, mole negro. The, the no, mole, mole negro. Mole negro, yeah. Mm -hmm. The flavor on that, guys, I can't describe it. You have to experience it for yourself, man. You, Maybe we'll put another clip of that in this video. Yeah, we will. But, yeah, it comes to you. You see the, the food. 
perfect. Oh my, my, my. good, good, good. It, it's like a sacred dish. You feel like yeah. you're partaking in a sacred ritual when yeah. you're eating it, guys, because we, we had talked to the waiter in the, in the restaurant that we went to and, and he was telling us and the way he talked about it was such pride oh, and love. Yes. The Oaxaqueño pride is so beautiful, guys. The amor, the love they have for their, for their people, for their food, for their culture. Gosh, you can feel it. And we love that about it here in Oaxaca. And he was just explaining how many ingredients go into it and how it you no know, longer takes to make. And it's just mm. something that comes from the indigenous people, guys. It's completely and it's, beautiful. And it's seven different moles, I seven think. Different right? Seven different moles. The moles. land of seven moles. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking that out, guys. Of course, you guys know the coffee down here is amazing. Yes. Looking forward to checking more of that coffee, the coffee out. Uh, more of the other did the, the trayuda. La Yuda, looking, yes. looking forward to checking out the La Yuda, um, the Chapalinis, of course. We're going to try that on film for you guys so you can see us eat the Chapalinis. Because we actually already did try Chapalinas in our... So when we were in Puebla, we did a video, video in Puebla City. We were also in Cholula, guys. Mm -hmm. make sure you, Ch Cholula, make sure you check it out. We had a, a great time. We actually were... I told on video, I was like, I'm kind of scared to try Chapalinas. And after off video on the way home, we passed through Hidalgo State. Yeah. And we actually were like, you know what? We were talking to one of the locals there. And he's like, no pasa nada. Like, Things gonna happen to you. Yeah. Just try it. And I was like, okay, you first. And he's like, he took like six in his hand and shook just shook them in his hand like this. Ah. And he ate them. And I said, okay, <laughs> let, let me have one. And yeah. this one had no flavor, guys. It no. didn't taste like anything. It was like, I don't know. Hey, it's, it's it, it didn't taste no bad. No taste to it. it was but fine. I, I only can imagine the one with the garlic and they, they add all the. We're gonna try it on, on camera. So yeah, they say the mucho. With some mezcal. Oh yeah, mezcal. Mezcal. I forgot about mezcal. The land of mezcal. Guys, we were out the other night. People just in mezcal, mezcal are soon to be, are soon to be, um, we're renting from this, from yeah, this, soon to be landlord, soon to be landlord, sorry, um, just giving us mezcal, drinking it, drinking it, so, hey, I'm looking forward to trying our different mezcal, we tried one with chapalinas in it, we tried it one with cacahuate in it, mm -hmm. it was good, guys, it was good. So these are our, our reasons right now, guys, and more videos to come. I'm sure things, we, as we learn more, we'll share so much more information with you. We have apartment, our apartment tour coming up. Guys, mm -hmm. you're not going to believe um, the apartment that we found, the price we found, cost of living. Guys, you know, we mentioned this in our last video, um, at, you know, at announcing our, our new home base here in Oaxaca. Make sure you check it out. Um, that, you know, it's going to take us time to collect data because we don't want to, we, we, we take this very serious, guys. We don't want to just give you Airbnb prices and mm -hmm. say cost of living. No, we're going to take our time to collect the appropriate data we're gonna have a, a true apartment for six months mm -hmm. and we're gonna go do grocery hauls for you guys and we're gonna show you what things cost here we're gonna give you a detailed cost of living if you guys haven't already seen we did two cost of livings one for 2020 when we lived in Millennial and we did one recently uh, it could apply to 2021 and 2022, 2022 because it was just done at the end of this year so check those out guys and we give you a detailed breakdown of what we spent and we also did an, uh, our apartment tour our casita tour in Santiago de Queretaro Mexico go as well guys so plethora of information guys we hope you enjoy it as always check the pin comment for ways uh to see how for ways how you can support us we appreciate each and every one of you guys the simplest way to support us is by giving this video a like guys until next time we'll end it as we always do guys live the life that you were meant to live keep a grateful heart even when it gets hard guys and remember why not now all right guys peace <laughs>